gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. As the people were filled with expectation, and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them, saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am now worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquestionable fire. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Christ.
or we're good at our jobs. Oh, thank you. I went to school, you know, I got straight A's. <laughs> what would it sound like that instead of saying, well, thank you, I did this, or I did that, if we said, thank you, God, for giving me that gift. Thank you, God, for putting me in this place and this time. Thank you, God, for blessing me with these people and this opportunity so that you may be self channel they may see you through me. What would our world be like if we took out the pronouns of me, myself, and I and changed them to God, Lord, and Holy Spirit? Our world would be transformed. That's how we evangelize. You don't have to memorize scripture. You just need to change the pronouns a little bit. So when someone gives you a compliment, you say, thank you. God bestowed this gift on me, and I'm glad that you see it too. Jesus begins his ministry today by getting dirty in the River Jordan as a common man, common men all around him. In the form of humility, Jesus ends his life and his ministry hanging on that cross for all of mankind in the ultimate act of humility.